Where? <laughs> oh my god. Hey you. Yeah you. Aren't you tired of your Rays gameplay looking like this? Done getting clowned on by your team? Well look no further because this Rays satchel guide is the video for you. I've seen my fair share of races that have no clue what they're doing with these satchels. So I wanted to share what I've personally learned from hours and customs and watching flights videos. So yeah, let's get into it. And if you found this video helpful or learned something, please like, comment, or subscribe. Alright, so first off, you need to understand the fundamentals. When you're in the air and you press a movement key and look towards that direction, you're going to go in that direction while midair. This is useful for things like jump peeking and of course ray satcheling because you'll be in the air. You can think of the satchel's blast range as a sphere with a radius of 6 meters that will auto detonate after 5 seconds. And the closer you are to the center of the satchel when you pop it, the further up you'll go. And similarly, if you're on the edge of the blast radius, you'll go more forward. Usually you want more forward momentum than upwards or in other words, you usually don't want to be at the center of the satchel. But it also depends on the jump that you're trying to make and what obstacles are in your path. Oh, also, one thing that made satchels a lot easier for me was adding a mouse button keybind. Now that we've gone through the fundamentals, here are some nuances that I've noticed in a lot of flights videos that I don't see very many races take advantage of. When going for double satchels, usually you want to get the maximum distance or you want to fly over enemies' heads. Well, one way to make it easier to satchel is to start from a higher position than your satchel. For example, if we're going to satchel A ramps on split, you can start on the top of the box before the barrier, and then make the same distance as you could if you walked up and satcheled. But this satchel is safer and faster. Also, starting higher than the satchel gives you more height mid-jump which makes it easier to do the next one and not hit the ground. So secondly, you're going to want to flick straight down when you throw your second satchel. You want to do this because if you think about the satchel radius, you want to be at the edge of the radius rather than the center. And you should be moving faster than the satchel going out because of your first satchel. You can get away with not looking fully straight down, but you'll get the best results if you do. Try and make sure you're not looking straight forward or parallel to the ground, or your satchel goes out in front of you, which will blast you backwards or straight up, which you definitely want to avoid. The timing of your second satchel is also key. For some jumps, you need to delay the second satchel. For example, on ascent A main to A side generator, you have to make it to the A main entrance before you can use your second satchel. The final thing is, when you're trying to curve around the corner, it's best if you increase the angle as much as you can. As trying to make a U-turn while satcheling is really hard, or it requires a lot of space. For example, when you're trying to clear the boathouse on B side of ascent, you want to satchel away from the wall, so you're making less of a U and more of an L. Alright, so if you follow all of these tips, your race satchel should be way cleaner. But you want to know what else is cleaner? B-roll. Nah, just kidding. I'm not Joshua Weissman, but here are some race clips. Push it up, 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 push it up. Careful, shower. Great for me. Grenade! One enemy remaining. Last one, shower. Ace, opportunity. Okay. Uh, one enemy remaining. Nice, last one's out. Last one's grass. I have two off, we're holding and I die. I hate you guys. You, guys, <laughs> you, guys you killed him, you killed him, you killed him. Nice! Oh, <laughs> hey. Nice! Wait, what? Yeah, Yo! Yeah, dashed over my... Uh, dashed over. Remaining. Blinding. Blinding. 